We've spent some time with the folks over at TCL looking at some new Alcatel phones, a great new paint job for the BlackBerry Key 2, and their attempt at the foldable concept that honestly is really exciting. You're going to want to stick around to see what they call the Dragon Hinge. This is Pocket Now and I'm Joshua Vergara. What's going on everybody? Let's talk TCL. As is usually the case for Alcatel every year, they have a bunch of different devices being announced all at once. Over the years, Alcatel has done a great job of bringing their higher-end experiences to the lower tier price points. Starting off with the most affordable is the Alcatel One S, an Android Pie toting dual lens shooting full view HD plus display smartphone. That screen comes in at 5.5 inches with 2.5D glass and has a nice textured metal backing. Those lenses on the rear include a 2 megapixel depth sensor that helps with good bokeh in portrait shots. The One S also sports an octa-core processor that is being developed by a company called Spreadtrum and features 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage expandable with SD cards. What raised my eyebrows about this phone is the price, 109 euros, even though availability outside of this region has yet to be determined. Then we move to the higher end with the 3 series. The Alcatel 3 uses Snapdragon processors, in this case the Octa-Core Snapdragon 439, while the slightly lower spec Alcatel 3L sports the Quad-Core 429. With the teardrop notch, the 3 manages to pack in 88% screen-to-body ratio and what they call the Super Full View Display at 1560 by 720 resolution. The higher-end Alcatel 3 will have 4GB of RAM and 64GB of onboard storage. Also, bear in mind that some versions do have a fingerprint reader while others omit it from that textured backing. And finally, the rear cameras are 13 and 5 megapixels respectively, with the 5 megapixel sensor helping with depth in those bokeh shots. All of these Alcatel phones will be upgradable to Pi shortly after the launch. And from there, we move to a simple but significant shift for the BlackBerry Key 2. This limited edition red version adds a splash of really vivid red on the metal chassis, giving it a really eye-catching flair. Now, while I would have preferred BlackBerry go all in on the red coloring, I do understand that the black leather-like backing is their signature. Aside from the splash of color, the phone also bolsters the storage of the phone. With all the other specifications remaining the same, the red edition has 6GB of RAM and 128GB of onboard storage. As you know, I'm a big fan of that keyboard experience, and now this phone is not afraid to show off some of its colors. And finally, let's get to the Dragon Hinge. The foldable concept by TCL that was under glass at our presentation. Dragon Hinge is named so because it slightly resembles scales, and there is a bunch of bits and pieces working on the inside to make that fold work. But what makes this concept so exciting is how TCL has applied it to so many potential use cases. There are side-to-side -side folds like we've seen in a couple of other concepts already, along with a vertical fold that could bring back the clamshells of old. And then a large concept drawing showed more applications of the same design in products that we definitely want to see in the future. One in particular that I personally have always said when it comes to smartwatches is that they should be slap bands. You know, those wristbands that just slap on like this? Well, this is something that Dragon Hinge could actually provide in the smart wearable category. Obviously, there would be a flexible screen on them, and that would just make wearables that much easier to use and honestly, more fun. TCL does say not to expect the Dragon Hinge to hit markets until 2020, in an effort to see how certain aspects of current releases fare in the real world. Perhaps they'll find a way to create the affordable, foldable category when the time comes. Stay tuned for the rest of our MWC coverage as we jump around Barcelona, Spain for the next week. And you're going to want to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell over on the side so you can keep up with all of the announcements that are just about to happen. With all that said, I'm going to call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.